Okay. Carpark Drive, Fifth Cruiser 140, Bravo Foxtrot, 5500, just north of Lagoon. Outbound. And Zero Exit Delta is taking off 17 Skypark. Skypark traffic, Cherokee 1118, Quebec, turning crosswind to runway 17, Skypark traffic. You got him in sight? Yep. Traffic check, you're one one eight back on downwind, just for one day one set in the guy park traffic. Okay, sounds good. All right, so maybe I'll make a right turn here and cross yeah. that. Yeah, get perpendicular, perpendicular with it, and then and then see how that first turn goes. Okay. But what I do, I start the first turn. You know, pretty much as you cross the railroad track, I'd start making the turn about then, right? Because you're going to be drifting downwind. Okay. And see how that first one goes, and that will give you a little bit of a gauge. Right, save your wings level about here is good. Does that look perpendicular? Close enough. Okay, 5700. Okay, cross the railroad, start the left turn. Well, that's probably good right there. Okay. Maybe a little bit more now. Your rudder's good. Thank you. And just keep that bank in. You let a little bit go there. Yeah, so I just did. keep it in. Climbing a little. Oh, you're fine. You're good. And you know, I think we've got about 10 knots of wind or something here. You know, it's not a huge amount, but right, it's enough yeah. to mess with you. So I might not quite make it back to perpendicular. Uh, you'll here. be good. You'll be good. Right, so now. Wings level. Okay, wings level. And, and then you want to just wait a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe start your turn now. And, and yeah, there's something like that's probably pretty good right there. See how that works. Just a tad more right rudder. Okay. That's good. Very good. I think this is going to be nice. Just keep that same bank angle in. Yeah, it's all right. So, you know, you can be kind of patient too, because, uh, I mean, I'd say it's pretty good. The... Um, uh, not quite perpendicular, not, not but... Not quite, but not bad. I'd get perpendicular before you start your next one. Got it. Yeah, so maybe at the end there we should have just cranked in a little bit more. Yeah. Right, I'd start now, because otherwise you're going to drift too far down. Yeah. Do, so, that's good. Bit of left rudder, that's nice. Yeah, I'm way far away from the railroad compared yeah, to Yeah, it's interesting, turn. isn't it, you see, because we started just a few seconds later. Yeah.
but still not bad, right? I mean, <laughs> so they perpendicular now. So cross the railway, then maybe give just a little bit further than we did last time. Sure, yeah. But the bank angle, I think, was good last time. Everything else is good. Good. Altitude's good. Yeah. That's good. A little bit of right rudder. And probably a little bit more bank angle than that. Just a fraction. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably good right there. Yeah, a little bit more bank. Yeah, that should be about halfway by now, right? Yep. Which you be pretty close, right? I mean, that looks good. Yeah. You got the... Now that last one, yeah, you know, because we began to drift in a bit more quickly as we got, you probably just a little bit more bank at the end. Right, yeah. right. And then you're going to be just perfect. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, that's very good. Actually, a so, No, that's very good. As soon as you get over, begin your bank. To the back. Left. Yeah. Okay, there's the line. And you're climbing just a little bit, Thank a little bit less bank pressure. But Obviously, need some bank pressure, but, but that's a nice bank angle right there. What is that about 30 or am I over 30? Uh, no, it's about it. Yeah, standard rate turn. You've got just lost 100 so. feet though. Yeah, well, don't worry, that's, that's all right. You're not bad. You're, I'm you gonna want to crank it in a little yeah, bit I was more. Gonna say that one, I'm gonna have to bring it around. around. But I think I might make it. Yep, I think you're going to make it. Wings level. Wings level. Right, and then one more. Okay. Just oh, be patient be here. Be patient, yep. Okay. don't feel like I'm getting as much wind this time. Well, you may not be. I mean, you know, the wind's probably variable around here, so... But I think this is looking good. You know, you're going to be lined up pretty much, kind of, again. Look down the wing tip there, you see it. And again, this time I think you're going to, right near the end, you're going to probably want to just slightly increase the bank angle. Not too much, right. but a bit. Right. But then we can just make it. Because the wind is sort of pushing me back over the yeah, railroad, that's right? that's right. Yeah. So then we'll just head straight north from here. So that, those were nice. Yeah, I think when you look at the tight. ground track on those, uh, you're going to actually be pleased with that. Yeah, that was all right. The, the middle one is the is the puffy one. The other two look okay. Yep. It's amazing how red the color is this Isn't time it? Here. Yeah, and how funny it, it changes so much. Do you mind taking the controls so sure. I can snap a photo? Sure, sure. Your flight controls? Yeah, I got them here. We'll go a little bit of a song. A side slip here so you can get it out the window. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. That's just wild. <laughs> just did that reflection is kind of cool. Yeah, it really is. It's amazing. That's awesome. So, do you do that without losing altitude? Do you just pitch up a bit? Yeah, I mean, I've got a little bit of back pressure on. You know, I've got a bunch of left rudder in and I've got the so I'm just you know if I was really good right and um, and we were higher up you know we'd go much further onto sort of knife edge but <laughs> not, I'm not that good sorry right. Do that very well because now I won't be able to see anything. I'm going to just scoot over to the right a bit. Sure. And come back. Yeah, 
there. I don't see the trains. Oh, well, you can see them. They're actually just outside the... Oh, sure, yeah. Do you want me to just fly from sure, here? Sure, yeah. We can. The flight controls? I got them. That's you fine. want to take a look at that. That's cool. I wonder if they're just prepping them for the day, because it seems like August they'd still be running out. Yeah. Yeah, there's even a crowd outside. Maybe they're getting ready to roll them out. Fun. What time of the day is it? 10.02. There you go. If you want to get back to okay. mine. Uh, my flight controls. So do you want me to press on and go in a loop or do or do a 180 and go back over that spot? What's your preference? Uh, I don't mind, whichever your preference is. I mean, we've got about the same distance either way. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind them seeing move the trains okay. if they're going to do it soon. Well, I mean, the fact that there's a crowd... turn there. in that case, <laughs> before you get to this mountain here. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's great. That's good. Very good. You're uh, fine. So nose is down yep, a little bit. I see that. But that's actually okay because we'll maybe get a better look at them as we go by. Do you know what time they normally do that stuff? You know, I don't. Just the fact that there's a crowd assembling there made me think 10 o'clock. But yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. It's cool. It is, isn't it? I just think it's amazing how wasn't that long ago. Summer and I started watching Full Steam Ahead. Uh -huh. Do you know it? Nope. It's a BBC production about how the railroad transformed, you know, the world and England in particular. Uh -huh. And it's these three historians, Ruth Goodman and two other guys. They're the same ones that do a Victorian farm and Edwardian farm and Tudor farm. Oh, great. But they are basically going back to the beginning of sort of rail travel. And what's amazing to me is how many people in Britain still, you know, as a hobby, I guess, um, keep those steam engines alive. I mean, some of them are from yeah. like the 1830s and 1840s. Yep. You know, they don't even look like steam engines in terms of the way they operate. Sure. Uh, the old mining lines and the narrow gauge rails. And, I mean, it's really amazing. But they, you know, can sort of go back and recreate all of those things. I always used to like going to the science museum and um, seeing, you know, the old things like Stevenson's rocket and, and the big beam engines, steam engines, yeah. you know, they had for industry and pumping water and stuff like that. So we're into the wind now, yep. so we're going to be bounced around a bit, but just keep heading kind of home at this point. But <laughs> okay. the. Um, And X-ray Delta is uh, southeast of Bamboo Sky Park, uh, just about to make a uh, right turn onto the 45 left downwind 17.
Kilo. We're uh, maneuvering over the temple at 6,500. Skypark. 